Bee sting allergy is a very, very big problem. 1.5 million people in the United States are allergic to bee stings. Now that's honeybee, wasp, yellow jacket, white-faced hornet, and yellow-faced hornet. 1.5 million people, and there are 50 deaths every year from bee sting allergy. When a bee stings somebody, usually it hurts and there's swelling and redness. But people who are allergic will suddenly begin to break out in hives all over, they'll flush all over, they'll itch all over, and then they might lose their blood pressure or begin to have severe wheezing. Those are the anaphylactic symptoms that are so dangerous and that cause the 50 deaths that occur every year. We always give people who have bee sting allergies an EpiPen Autoject. It's a little instrument that allows you to self-administer adrenaline to yourself. It can be life-saving. And if you're allergic to bee stings and you're not on a desensitizing program, you must have an EpiPen Autoject. Uh, let's talk about those varmints. They're in the Hymenoptera family. The honeybee usually lives in a tree and walls. We find them on the grass. They're trying to get honey from clover or from flowers. And the honeybee, when it stings you, it leaves the stinger. And the stinger is like a heartbeat. It's beating back and forth. And each one of those beats is putting more venom in. So if you get a honeybee sting, you want to flip off the stinger. Don't squeeze it or pinch it off. Flip it off with a little stick, with a tongue blade, with a blade of a knife, but don't squeeze it. The other varmints, the other hymenoptera, the wasp, the yellow jacket, white-faced hornet, yellow-faced hornet, when they sting, the stinger stays with the insect. And it causes pain and redness unless you have an allergic reaction. Now, people that have an allergic reaction potentially can die with their next sting. The literature says the next sting is going to have a 90% chance of being worse. With that in mind, we need to skin test and desensitize. Let's talk about that. We start skin testing to those five varmints at a very weak dose, one to 100 million concentration. And every 15 minutes, we get a little stronger till we're at 1 50th of a sting. That's one microgram. If there's an allergic reaction, it'll be a red, itchy place, and we'll start desensitizing shots. Now, the desensitizing shots to those five varmints, honeybee, wasp, yellow jacket, white-faced hornet, yellow-faced hornet, once a week for eight weeks, and then once a month. By the time you've reached that eight weeks, we're giving you two stings, and so there's essentially no chance that you'll have a severe allergic reaction to a bee sting. We always say we're 98% effective. So if you have been stung and do have a generalized reaction, remember that the desensitizing is the only way to really protect you. Even though you're protected, we like for people to continue to take their EpiPen Autoject. It's probably the most effective thing that we do in medicine. 98.6% effective is really good. And so by the time you reach your maintenance dose, you can feel very safe that you can go out and be a normal, active person again. Uh, good luck.